Brackwick is a small crofting community on the island of Hoy. Hoy gets its name from the Old Norse for high, the high island. It is certainly the hilliest of the Orkney Islands. The poet George Mackay Brown called Ratwick Orkney's last enchantment and that it was the hidden valley of light. The name Rackwick is derived from the Old Norse meaning wreckage bay, a testament to the Pentland Firth's stormy reputation. If you're coming here by car, use the Rackwick Bay car park. The short walk to the Old Man of Hoy starts from this beautiful and remote bay. The main path to the Old Man of Hoy is signposted off the road from Moness. There is another slightly shorter but steeper route up a farm track at the north end of Rackwick Bay. Soon you are walking through the RSPB reserve. Depending on the time of year, you can see a large variety of sea and moorland birds. Recently, a pair of the majestic sea eagles nested near here. As you walk along the cliff-top path, it's humbling to reflect that approximately 380 million years ago, you would have been south of the equator, on another continent, walking in a very different landscape. These impressive sandstone cliffs were formed in a depression in the earth known by geologists as the Orcadian Basin. This was a vast, low-lying area, stretching from Greenland through Shetland to the Murray Firth. It was filled periodically by lakes fed by rivers transporting sand and sediment into the basin from surrounding hills. It was these deposits that formed the red sandstone cliffs that are seen in Orkney. Orkney is famous for fossils found preserved in the rocks of Orkney. The rivers and deep freshwater lakes in the Orcadian Basin were alive with fish. Changes in the climate from alternating wet to dry periods, trapped and killed the fish. The fish carcasses were deposited in the mud of the lake bed to become preserved as fossil specimens. Movement of the Earth's tectonic plates over millions of years pushed the Arcadian Basin landmass north to where we are now. This movement also buckled parts of the basin, forming hills and mountains, which have subsequently been eroded and smoothed by glaciation during the Ice Ages. In this bleak but beautiful part of Scotland, it's worth remembering that the Arcadian Basin is of world importance. Its lakes and rivers played a crucial role in the evolution of all modern fish and especially in the establishment of the first vertebrate life on land. Without it, we might not be here to make the walk to the old man. The rough seas and tides of the Pentland Firth have carved the cliffs into spectacular coastal landforms, the most famous of which is the Old Man of Hoy. 
As recently as the 18th century, this headland was intact, but by 1820, part of the cliff had collapsed, leaving a sea stack. Originally, the stack base contained an arch, which formed the old man's legs. During a storm, the roof of the arch collapsed, removing one of the legs, leaving the stack much as we see it today. There is a large 40 metre crack running vertically from the top of the 137 metre high stack, which threatens its upper reaches. It is continually being eroded and could collapse into the sea at any time. The old man is on borrowed time. This sea stack has been a magnet for adventurers of all ages and types since it was first climbed in 1966 by an expedition led by Sir Chris Bonington. He last climbed it in 2014, at 80 years of age. Edward Mills, at 8 years, is the youngest to have climbed the stack. A German, Alexander Schultz, completed a 180 metre high wire walk between the stack and the cliff top. Personally, I'm quite content to admire the old man from near the cliff edge. <laughs>